over if you're new here please remember to subscribe i hope that by the end of this video i can convince you to subscribe so today i'll be doing a, another makeup tutorial first i'll start off with my brows as usual i think with this one i've gone pretty in depth with the brows so you know <laughs> i hope it helps a lot so i start out by using the spoolie or the brow comb to kind of straighten out straighten out those <laughs> brows and then I go ahead with the pencil. So the key to having those uh, perfect brows, right, is to start lining the bottom. So you don't, you well, for the bottom of the brow, you can go all the way to the tip of the brow. But for the top, you don't want to go all the way to, to the front. You want to start like probably a half an inch or less than a half an inch, probably like 0 0.2 inches away from the tip of your brows because you don't want them to look like box so you could go ahead and do that and after you could just go ahead and start filling out the whole brow So onto the second brow, I am kind of doing the same thing, you know, where I start out at the tip of the brow or at the start of the brow and then just kind of line it all the way back to the end. I'm so sorry guys, the lighting was just horrible <laughs> throughout this video. Like it was just... <clears throat> Anyways, and then you could go 0 0.2 inches for the top part of the brow not starting at the exact start point but a little bit off and just go ahead and trace it back and just after you're finished doing that you can fill out the rest of the brow After I finish filling out my brows, I usually like to take my spoolie and just comb it out a bit to give it that little natural look so some of the hair follicles kind of stick out so it doesn't look like it's drawn. Like I don't want it to look fake, 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 but you know, it kind of has that natural look whenever you use the brow comb or the spoolie to kind of comb out some of the hair. Next up, we're going to conceal the brows. So guys, it's best if you use a flat brush when you're, <laughs> yeah, it's, the lighting is just, oh. Anyways, it's best if you use a flat brush when you're doing the, concealing your eyebrows. So it's, I think it's way easier to apply if you use a flat brush. You can use the little brush thingy that's on top of the concealer depending on the type of concealer if you're using an la girl pro then you could use that little brush there however i think it's more precise to use a flat brush to conceal your brows
and Jen eyeshadow time so I'm gonna use the car guys I just love orange earthly looking colors I don't know I think they look really nice and it's just so warm and yeah <laughs> so I try to incorporate orange in not if it, if not all most of my looks I just love it I don't love orange as a color like that but I like the shade in makeup some oranges so yes I'm going ahead and applying that orange the car and I'm just blending that out with my blending brush I'm gonna go ahead and cut the Z crease yeah I don't know why I have to be like <laughs> stretching my eyes out like <laughs> yo a cut crease is just very hard so whichever way you have to try to maneuver your eyelids to get that crease cut crease cut <laughs> then you just gotta do what you gotta do girl Yeah, I don't know if it was like the angle where I put the lighting at, but it was just there. I am trying to change or set the lighting so it looks a bit better. So here I'm going in with this pinkish, rose pinkish color from the Beautiful Creations palette, and I'm just blending that out at the edge of the cut crease. I'm just blending mind you guys I have no idea what I'm doing here I'm just working with the look as it goes along so it's not like I had this look prior to doing this video I just work with colors that I like <laughs> now I'm going in with that gold color right there in the cut crease there yeah, another color that I like and I'm just petting that down and blending it in with the pink so I felt a little artsy fartsy so I'm just gonna go ahead and <laughs> draw some heart yeah with one of those fine brushes I think it looks pretty good it's coming right along yeah that's good girl I think this last heart was just, mm. it was just, yeah, so I just left it. I just left that one alone.
So now I'm going to go ahead and line my lower lash line with this white pencil. I've been trying to get the LA Girl Pro Primer that one of my co-workers recommended. If yeah, big up as ever. But I couldn't get it, so I just bought this um, simple white eyeliner. I love lining my lower lash line because it, it kind of gives your eye, eyes this wide, full look. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks nice. It looks nice. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going in right now with that Dakar under my eyes. I'm doing this wing over here. Bro, one of my... Every time I'm doing my makeup, one eye always turns out better than the other. I don't know why, but... Yeah, I'm never lucky enough for both of them to be like perfect. One of them always gets messed up. and that's the final look guys i hope you love it thank you so much for coming over again and i'll see you in another video Bye bye